Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about how we can design a flip-flop and using gate level modeling and data flow modeling using Verilog language. At first, we will see the circuit diagram for SR flip-flop. Uh, this, this SR flip-flop has been designed by using uh, NAND gates, NAND1 and NAND2 and NAND3 and NAND4 and we have an SR as input and we have a clock and we have Q and Q bar. This is a corresponding truth table for the corresponding SR flip-flop. If it is 0, 0, the output is going to be no change. If it is 0, 1, it is going to be get reset, so it will be 0. If it is 1, 0, it is going to be get set, so Q is 1. If it's 1, 1, it's invalid state, it's a forbidden state. So by using uh, logic gates, we need to design a program. So we will type a program module SR flip-flop is identifier, open the brackets. At first, the output is going to be Q and Q bar, and the inputs are S, R, and clock. Among this, the input variables are the input variables are S, R, and clock, and the output variables are. Q and Q bar. In a circuit diagram, we have wires where wire is nothing but interconnection of two components. So here we can find between NAND1 and between NAND3 we have a wire, and between NAND2 and, and NAND4 we have a, another wire. Those wires can be represent as an A comma B. So to write a program in gate level modeling, we need to use uh, gates. So the NAND, NAND is the keyword, and NAND1 is the, G1 is the corresponding gate name. For NAND, for G1, the output is A, and the inputs are S and clock. Output is A, and the inputs are S and clock. For second gate, G2 is a corresponding gate name. For NAND2, the output is B. This it is a wire. The output is B. The inputs are R and clock. So B, comma R, comma clock. And for third gate, NAND G3. So this is the third gate. The output is Q and where the inputs are A and then Q bar. It's a feedback from the Q bar, so it is a Q bar signal. So Q is the output and where A is a wire and Q bar is a feedback signal. And for last gate, NAND G4. For G4 gate, the inputs are B signal and then feedback signal are Q and the output is Q bar. So Q bar comma B comma Q and the N module. So this is the corresponding program for SR flip flop and uh, using gate level modeling. So now I will copy this program and I'll paste in the corresponding settings window. So very log model. For basics of uh, Xilinx, you can see the previous videos. So I'm going to change my name here. I have given as SR SR Top. So once you create a program, so then we need to check the syntax. Check the syntax. So no errors. So now we can write a test bench. So right click, new source, select the Verilog test picture, and then uh, SR for flop uh, test. Next, so for SR flip flop, I'm going to write a test bench. So SR flip flop. Next, finish. So here we can find the two or three inputs are S and clock. 
zero. So we will consider going to be changed as say S and R alone. I will come back to the clock later. At first time zero, S and R will be zero, and after some time S and R will be changed to zero one, and then S will be changed to one, and S and R going to be one one. And after something is going to be changed to zero. So for different cases I have given. So after end, uh, this is the corresponding loop. Uh, initial, begin, and S and R value has been changed. And for throughout your, throughout my simulation, I want clock should be keep on changing. So for that, always asterisk uh, 50. So why I am giving 50? Because I have given the time delay as 100. So for every 50 seconds, the clock will be keep on toggling. So clock is equal to negation of clock negation of clock so i have written, i have written a test bench so here i have given for different cases or uh, for s and r and for clock is going to be keep on gets changing for every 50 seconds you please make sure that you give your corresponding clock instruction next to the end signal end instruction so once you finish a test bench please save the program and similar similar behavior model Here we can find a waveform for the corresponding SR flip flop. Here we can see so for 0, 0, it's a don't care state. Since it's a first stage, it's a don't care. Uh, so you can feel that clock is varying. When clock becomes 1, once S and R becomes 0, 1. So since R is 1, the Q is 0. It gets, it gets reset. Then you can see here when the clock is 1 and you see it is a positive trigger flip flop when clock is 1 you can see that s equal to 1 and so the q is 1 the q output has been set when both the inputs are 1 1 when the both the inputs are 1 1 it is invalid state it's a forbidden state it might go to any either to 1 or it going to 0 so this is how we can execute a SR flip flop using gate level modeling. Thank you.